Hello. This short introductory video will help you understand the basic functionalities of Megaventry. Megaventry efficiently handles purchase orders, sales quotes, sales orders, and work orders. Let's begin by creating a purchase order to your supplier. Once the page opens up, you may select the supplier and fetch the associated supplier information automatically. Then, you can start adding products by just using the keyboard. Tab gets you to the next row. Once the purchase order form is complete, you may save the purchase order. Once saved, the purchase order remains pending. You can then make the purchase order official by moving it to the verified state. Verified means that all product quantities and prices are correct. It also assigns your purchase order to the inventory location where you intend to receive the goods in. An inventory location may, for example, refer to your shop, your warehouse, or a generic storage location. When the goods arrive, you may click the Receive button and select the inventory document to be automatically created against this purchase order. The issue of the goods inbound document increases the stock and updates the product costs. Partial receipt of goods against a purchase order is also supported. Once all goods have been received, the purchase order status changes to fully received or fully invoiced depending on the type of inventory document that is used to receive the items. To conclude this purchase order, you may mark it as closed. This is the final step in the workflow of the purchase order. Let's move on to sales by looking at the sales quote. The purpose of the sales quote is to start the pre-sales procedure that may end up in a sales order. Of course, you may also create a sales order directly without passing through the sales quote. Similar to the purchase order, when the sales quote opens up, you can start adding products and product prices. You may move on to the next row by using the tab key. Once the sales quote form is complete, you may select the client and the sales quote can then be saved. Once saved, the sales quote remains pending. You can make the sales quote official by moving it to the verified state. Verified means that all the product quantities and prices are correct. If the communication with the client ends successfully, you may close the sales quote. By closing the sales quote, a sales order will be automatically created in the selected inventory location. After closing, no more changes are possible to the sales quote. In the event that the sales quote is not accepted by the client, the sales quote should be canceled instead. Finally, let's see how Megaventry handles sales orders. A sales order can be created directly or can be automatically created by the sales quote procedure. To start, we fill in the product rows and then select the client. Once saved, the sales order remains pending. You can then proceed by making the sales order verified. Again, verified means that all product quantities and prices are correct and also assigns the sales order to the inventory location you intend to ship the items from. At that moment, Megaventry increases the total non-shipped quantity in sales orders. This indicates the total quantity of products that are included in sales orders and are yet to be shipped out. When the sales order is ready to be shipped, you may click the Ship button and select the inventory document to be automatically created against this sales order. The issue of the goods outbound document reduces the stock and updates the company's revenues. Partial shipment of the sales order is also possible. Once all goods are shipped, the sales order status changes to fully shipped or fully invoiced depending on the type of inventory document that is used to ship the items. To conclude this sales order, you may mark it as closed. This is the final step in the workflow of the sales order. That's it. By now, you should have a basic understanding of how Megaventry deals with purchasing and sales. More options are available inside, so do sign up and check for yourself.